Welcome back guys. We are gonna be making the dog food today. I started making their food about three months ago because um, Hildy was having problems, like eating. Let me turn it up, or turn up, <laughs> let me turn it up. Let me turn up the lighting. Hello, poodles. I have them locked out because, because for all for reasons. Hello, Django. Hello, buddy, where are you going? Where are you going? Come here. Come here. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> yes, they need to go to the groomer. I know. <laughs> they need to go to the groomer so bad. Hello, Hildy. What, Django? They've got Christmas themed collars, dude. It's so cute. Oh no! <laughs> but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna peel the potatoes, get those going boiling, and then I throw in, hold on. I throw in two, two, three pound things of turkeys. And this recipe will last them about nine days between two dogs. So if you have one, it'll almost last the whole month, almost. So I basically can do this recipe in about, without filming, about two hours. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's so much more easier to make the dog food. I, I realize that a lot of people don't have time for it, but obviously you guys know that I'm a cook, so on top of everybody else's diet, I figure why not? All right, so I'm gonna break it up and I'm just gonna let it slowly cook. And while it's slowly cooking, this is when I start peeling my potatoes. Throw them in. All right, so I just fill this all the way up and we're gonna throw it on the stove. Okay, so I'm gonna, and then I'm just gonna let that simmer, um, to be honest, because I don't wanna have two separate pots and I don't wanna make more dishes than I want. Um, I just stuff this to the top and when they, when they start to soften up, I just kinda like rotate these ones at the top. And then let's check on our turkey. So, we're gonna do the rice and I do nine cups and 18 cups of water. You know what I just realized looking for the cup? I don't have the cups. I just realized that this had eight cups in it. So I'm gonna use this to measure and measure out the water. Cause normally I have one cup and I do it at a time. Oh my gosh, it's so tedious. Cause I can't find my cups. I can't find my cups since moving. All right, that's gonna be way easier. Using my Vitamix. Sometimes you gotta get a little creative, you know? And yes, I should have a bigger pan, which is crazy because it always cooks the whole pan, like the whole pan cooks, which I don't know. Maybe it, should, maybe it needs more room, but the rice always cooks all the way through. So I don't know, maybe it compacts. So this is eight cups of rice. Guys, I am literally so proud I just found this method. This is so much easier. I can't even tell you, God, I can't even tell you how many times I sit there and I'm like one cup. Oh, wait, wait, two cups. Wait, was that two cups or was that three cups? Guys, I'm literally so happy I just found this out. Get this over to the stove. Okay, so now that the rice is boiling, I'm gonna turn it down. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down to low i'm still in the process of moving between both places so i left all my lids there i'm um, just gonna put some foil over it in my sheet tray and that should work because it worked last time and bam got a little double seal so i got all my frozen stuff i'm gonna put my pumpkin in and then i'm gonna put my cranberries in your pumpkin in there all of this stuff is so good for them guys and ever since I started making their food I've just been so happy it makes me feel so much better Ooh, why is that such a different color I'm 
just gonna give that a rough mix because I noticed that if I don't mix these, then there'll be like a bunch of unmixed pieces. I'm gonna start doing my carrots right now. I don't think I'm gonna grate these anymore. Um, I think I'm gonna get those pre-grated, I think I'm gonna get those pre-grated carrots. But I just, you know, and this is about 500 grams. Like I said, I'll have the measurements up there. This is about 500 grams of carrots. And I'm just gonna grate them. Okay, so for the ones that I can't really grate because these are so floppy, I'm just gonna do a little small, as small as I can get. Because um, like you said, like I said, you want this to be even. Now I've got the carrots cut. I'm just gonna add those in. And again, if I had my grater working, I would have just grated all the carrots. But uh, I need about 3,000. I think it's 3,735 grams of eggs. All I do is set something under here because cracking eggs makes a mess and it's gross. And then I just crack them, you know? Not very exciting. I give it a big whisk. I'm not gonna lie to you guys though, honestly, last time I forgot to put the eggs in there and I've just been making them scramble the eggs every morning and adding it to their bowls. Um, but just to show you guys like what I do normally. So now what I do, is I take two baking dishes, split up the eggs between two, two of the pans. It's okay if you still have some whole ones in there. I actually like it when it's whole like that because I know it's gotta be tasty for them. All right. Okay, so after I pour those in there, I put the oven at 350 and then I cook them for about 20 minutes. Once everything is done, I'm gonna bring you guys back and we're just gonna dump everything and mix it and share the final product. Yay! I'm gonna give them a goat's milk cookie while we're waiting. A brief intermission. Okay, sit. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Good girl. Hey, you didn't sit. Sit. Good boy. Oh, 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 good. Okay, so here go the eggs. So basically what I do is I take the edges that are still hot and I like to mix it in with the eggs that are still uncooked and then it pretty much cooks them. Okay, so we got our frozen, got our frozen stuff right here and everything is super hot. Remember, these are frozen and everything else is super hot. Did I drop a bunch? Mm, we're not gonna. Turkey. Maybe I can. It's hot as hell. All right, you guys, so I let it cool down for a little bit, not long enough, but I'm very impatient. So what I'm gonna do is like, put like three or four gloves on each hand <laughs> and hope that protects me from the heat. All right. I don't even know how much space I got left on this camera. Okay. And obviously I need something bigger to house this. Everything I'm dropping, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm, I'm dropping food and they're just right here eating up everything I drop, which is okay because it is their food. Just 
basically cooking the cranberries. That's how hot it is. It's cooking everything. It's cooking the vegetables. There you go. I don't know if you can see it, but that is basically what I do for the dog food. Per cup, this is about 300 calories. So I give them four cups a day, I go off of calories. So roughly they get about 11 to 1200 calories a day plus their treats. Um, but you wanna make sure that you do your research before you do any of this. But this is my recipe. This is my Thanksgiving recipe for my, okay, thumbnail. I wasn't even gonna go for a thumbnail. Eh. But basically I do four cups of food cause they're 40 pounds and that's what they get. I also top it with some blueberries. I give them a multivitamin, and then I also give them some omega-3 oil, about a tablespoon or a teaspoon a day. And that's it, that's what I give them. And then they get random treats throughout the day. That is it. That is Cookmas Day One. I hope you guys enjoyed. I might take you along for what I'm making for dinner tonight and then see you guys tomorrow, but. If you're still here, leave me some dog emojis in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, buddy, some rice dropped on his head. He dropped on his head. Hey, Hootie. Hey, say bye, guys.